More than a century ago, genius Albert Einstein developed his famous theory of relativity. The idea that space and time are linked together means that time travel might be possible. I couldn't believe such a complete dinosaur embryos could be preserved in this way. One day, once physicists figure out how it works. However, explorers and archaeologists have known for centuries that the opportunity to step back in time already exists. It's true, by visiting archaeological sites around the world, you can see how. Not just there, but in space too. Even in the world of science, 15 most shocking discoveries that are one in a million. Number 15. Ancient Jars Archaeologists are painstakingly working to unlock the secrets of an ancient kingdom. Historians believe they've unearthed tombs dating back over 2,800 years in eastern Turkey. The Pythos burial chambers, which are like large ceramic jars, are thought to be from the kingdom of Urartu, which ruled the country in the mid-9th century BC. The storeroom they uncovered contained 120 of them, which can store up to 36 tons of food, grain, sesame oil, and wine. Buried up to their necks, the ancient jars are covered in units of measurement and script. Every summer, a team of around 50 archaeologists takes part in an annual excavation here in a bid to uncover treasures that they've been buried for thousands of years. Turkey's Ministry of Culture and Tourism restarted the excavations at the site after a 30-year hiatus. This is what they found. They were used as granaries too and met the needs of the people living here back then. The locals kept all of their supplies in the jars to meet the needs of officials in the palace as well. The castle's walls, cisterns, the world's first sewage system, temples, and other structures stand to this day and have become a popular destination for tourists. The ancient jars are just a small treasure among the ruins. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Square-Faced Mummy The intricate decoration of the square-faced mummy begs the question, who was this person and why did they get special treatment in their wrapping style? Everybody knows the traditional wrappings of a mummy. Long strips of fabric are wrapped around the body from head to toe. But this mummy from the Louvre in Paris, France has a very different wrapping style throughout its body. But the most striking feature of this mummy, and what sets it apart from others, is the interwoven strips of linen that make up the concentric square design over the mummy's face. However, underneath the linen, the body is remarkably well preserved. According to the Louvre, x-rays revealed that the mummy was an adult male that lived between 305 BC to 30 BC. He was wealthy enough in his mortal life to be mummified upon his death, which ensured survival into the afterlife. On top of the square linen design, there was a face mask, which now lays beside the mummy, that's decorated with a winged scarab, a symbol of rebirth. The neckband of the mummy portrays the goddesses and sisters Nephthys and Isis, who stand as protectors of the mummy, decorated with several rows of beads and includes falcon-headed clasps. Even after death, this person just had to be a little different. Number 13. Golden Spider Garments the world's largest and rarest piece of cloth made entirely from the silk of the golden silk orb weaver was exhibited in New York recently. It's a breathtaking textile and the story of its creation is fascinating. The project took five years to complete and cost approximately $395,000. The result of this endeavor was this brocaded shawl and cape. It's said to be the only large piece of cloth made from natural spider silk existing in the world today. The inspiration for this masterpiece was drawn from a French account dating in the 19th century. The account describes the attempt of a French Jesuit missionary to extract and make fabrics from spider silk. While various attempts have been made in the past to turn spider silk into fabric, the missionary is regarded as the first person who succeeded in doing so. One of the important things in the production of spider silk is a device invented to extract the silk. This machine was capable of extracting silk from up to 24 spiders simultaneously without hurting them. The designers managed to build a replica of this machine and the spider silking process could begin. The spiders were turned to the wild once they ran out of silk. Number 12. Gotts Iron Hand Gotts von Berlhagen was a famous German knight employed by the lords and kings of the time to do their dirty work. In 1503, when the knight was only 23, he lost one of his arms during a battle. 
Considering this was the 16th century, he did survive gangrene and he did have a prosthetic, but far more out of the ordinary, a new iron hand with a great grip that allowed the knight to continue his royal bidding. He did not allow his newfound lack of manual dexterity to slow him down. He continued to lead his band of mercenaries in battle. The first hand was a basic affair. Two hinges at the top of the palm allowed the four hook fingers to be brought inward for sword holding purposes. But that was the extent of its motion. There was some attention paid to aesthetic detail, though, including sculpted fingernails and wrinkles at the knuckles. With some cash in his pocket after a couple of years in his career, he upgraded to a new iron arm equipped with joints at each knuckle and spring-loaded mechanisms to lock fingers into place. This allowed the knight not only to use his right arm prosthetic with unparalleled control in battle, but also hold the reins of the horse, play cards, write with a quill or drink a mug of ale. It must have also packed a heck of a punch. Number 11. Deep Sea Photo Shoot the largest space telescope in history is about to blow our minds, the James Webb Space Telescope, and NASA has finally revealed its first images from the space-based observatory. They don't disappoint. They show the deepest images of the cosmos captured in history, but they almost didn't happen. These images are decades in the making and come after years of delays and budgets being blown. What makes this image so mind-blowing is how small it is and how large it is at the same time. It's small in the sense that this image represents only a teensy tiny portion of the night sky, but it's huge in the sense that nearly every object in this image is a galaxy, besides the bright spiky starbursts, which are stars in the foreground. We can see that in every pinprick of sky, there are thousands and thousands of galaxies, at least. The very faintest, smallest blip of light in these photos are images of galaxies as they existed more than 13 billion years ago near the very beginning of time. That very light has been traveling through space ever since, and not only can we now capture images of galaxies this old, the Space Telescope can make measurements about what elements those early galaxies are composed of. The telescope sees light that's in a longer wavelength than our eyes can see. Number 10. The Dragon Man A huge cranium found in a river in China represents a new lineage for Homo sapiens. It dates to at least 146,000 years old. The skull is almost complete and provides important evidence for understanding the evolution of humans and the origin of our species. It's so distinctive in shape that some of the team have suggested declaring the skull as a new species of the genus Homo, and it's been dubbed Dragon Man. The name is derived from the Dragon River, where it was found. More than 100,000 years ago, several human species coexisted in Asia, Europe, and Africa, including Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans. But the Dragon Man fossil was found with interesting combinations of features that have sparked fierce debate about whether they belong to different species of humans, so far unrecognized by science. Some researchers believe the fossils might represent transitional populations that bridge a gap between our ancient ancestor, Homo erectus, and our own species, Homo sapiens. This is a remarkable new piece in the jigsaw of human evolution, a fossil that will continue to add important information for many years to come. It's one of the best preserved of all ancient human fossils. Number 9. The Swiss Ring Watch An aura of mystery continues to surround the excavation of a curious artifact that was recovered, a modern-looking, mud-encrusted Swiss ring watch from a 400-year-old sealed tomb dating to the Ming Dynasty in southern China. For some, the discovery could only mean one thing, that this was evidence of time travel. The strange metallic object was a small golden ring with a watch face on its front. Tiny hands on the watch showed time had frozen at 10.06. Most astonishing of all, the back of the Swiss ring watch was said to have the words Swiss or Switzerland written in English. There are many theories as to how a modern-looking Swiss ring watch might have been discovered by Chinese archaeologists within a 400-year-old sealed tomb. Some researchers cite the possibility of time travelers from the future, dropping a Swiss ring watch in an ancient location and accidentally leaving their possession behind. It's also within the realm of possibility that the so-called sealed tomb was not as secure as the Chinese officials and archaeologists had presumed. Early tomb raiders or explorers secretly gaining access to the tombs cannot be ruled out. But the mystery remains, much like the time on the watch. Number 8. Urfa Man 
The Urfa Man is an ancient human-shaped statue found in excavations in the geographical area of Upper Mesopotamia, in the southeast of modern Turkey. It's dated back to 9000 BC and is considered the oldest naturalistic life-sized sculpture of a human. An imposing figure standing over six feet tall, it seems clear Urfa Man was a cult statue even though only one of his kind has been found to date. Furthermore, it has a very similar appearance to later statuettes that appeared as Neolithic civilizations, reaching new parts of the world, and similar examples are seen throughout Europe and Egypt. Some of the statuettes have this style of the face, have the V-shape around the neck, as well as the same hand pose. Is Urfa Man an iconic statue? A god, perhaps? That future god and goddess figurines are based on? Turning our attention to the strange, vaguely unsettling appearance of the face, Urfa Man's voiceless image cast by a conspicuously absent mouth and gazing obsidian-filled eyes is hauntingly enigmatic but offers a link with another class of ancient statuary known as the Eye Idol. If Urfa Man embraced a notion of fertility, and if he depicts a deceased person, it might not directly relate to a specific human, but symbolize the annual reappearance of the seasons. Number 7. To Jupiter Mystery Blocks these curious rubber-like blocks with the word to Jupiter inscribed on them have been mysteriously washing up on beaches across the Atlantic Ocean. They're even rumored to have been on the Titanic when it sank. Blocks like this, widely used to insulate underwater cables, were listed in the Titanic's logbook before it sank in 1912. However, even though people are hopeful that these blocks are from the iconic Titanic, it's quite possible other ships went down with these mystery blocks in their cargo. They were certainly created at a plantation in Indonesia more than a century ago. T. Jupiter is the name of the early 20th century rubber plantation and the tablets are made from the sap of the gutta percha tree, a tropical tree native to Asia and northern Australia. Dozens of people are coming forward to reveal their own gutta percha discoveries from beaches in Germany, France, Sweden, Holland and Wales. New York too! One person even found a block more than 30 years ago and used it as a chopping board to gut fish on their fishing boat. This special rubber was also made into such items as golf balls, toys, picture frames and jewelry, among many other things. Number 6. Terracotta Warriors These figures, dating from approximately the late 3rd century BC, were discovered in 1974 by local farmers in China. The three pits they discovered contained an estimated 8,000 life-sized figures, terracotta warriors prepared for battle. Each warrior has unique features. They have different builds, expressions, and postures. The details of the warriors are so intricate and individualized that it's been hypothesized that they were based on real soldiers who served in the emperor's army. This army is part of a much larger necropolis, constructed as a smaller version of the emperor's imperial palace and covers a large area around the royal tomb. Ground-penetrating radar and core sampling have measured the area to be close to 38 square miles. On top of that, thousands of bronze items of weaponry have been recovered, including swords, daggers, spears, lances, battle axes, shields, and crossbows. But why should a terracotta army even exist? The figures, a mix of chariots, cavalry, armored soldiers, and archers, were apparently created to serve the Chinese emperor in the afterlife. They sat untouched underground for more than 2200 years. This only adds to the mystery, as it's now the largest and most important tomb site in China. Number 5. Dinosaur Embryo It's the perfect specimen, one of the best preserved dinosaur embryos ever reported in science. It's come a long way too. About 70 million years ago, the baby ostrich-like dinosaur wriggled inside its egg, putting itself into the best position to hatch. But it never did. The embryo died and remained in its egg for tens of millions of years until researchers found its fossilized remains recently in China. Researchers have discovered many ancient dinosaur eggs and nests over the past century, but this embryo is one of a kind. This skeleton is not only complete from the tip of the snout to the end of its tail, it's curled in a life pose within its egg. In fact, this pose is what interests researchers most. This discovery strengthens our understanding of the close evolutionary relationship between dinosaurs and birds. Living bird embryos are known to move into the best position, known as tucking behaviors, to help them hatch from their eggs. But these behaviors had never been documented in dinosaurs until now. Previously considered unique to birds, this tucking may be rooted more deeply in dinosaurs many tens or hundreds of millions of years ago. 
That could mean that birds inherited these pre-hatching behaviors from their dinosaur ancestors. Number 4. Mayan City in the Stars A 15-year-old boy has studied astronomical charts devised by ancient Mayan people, as well as satellite photos, to pinpoint the location of a forgotten city. In fact, the lost city could be among the largest built by the ancient civilization, which thrived between 300 and 700 AD. The Canadian teen was wondering why the ancient people built their cities far away from rivers and in inhospitable mountains, prompting the teenager to look to the sky for answers. The Mayans worshipped the stars. They may have lived some 1700 years ago, but the ancient Mayan had an incredible knowledge of celestial bodies, which they believed influenced everything, from harvest to death to where to live. It's believed the Mayans built their cities so they lined up with star constellations. The teenager analyzed Mayan constellations only to realize that if he connected them, the 142 stars corresponded to the position of 177 Mayan cities. Incredibly, the brightest of the stars match up with the large cities. He was able to overlay this on satellite images from Google Earth to find the stars corresponding to the locations of cities. It was in the 23rd constellation, containing three stars, that suggested that one has not yet been rediscovered. Number 3. Living Rocks Known in Romania as Trovins, these stones are a type of sandstone concretion that can actually secrete cement. They can, at times, appear to grow as if they're alive, consisting of a stone core with an outer shell of sand. After a heavy rain, small forms are said to appear on the rocks leading them to be dubbed the growing stones by locals. These living rocks of Romania are an amazing geological phenomenon, but it's extremely rare to see. As far as the growth of these living stones is concerned, certain stones may gradually get slightly larger as a result of absorbing water. The gravitational force, seismic shocks, solution cohesion forces, particularly surface tension, and the adhesion strength between the sand grains and the liquid are believed to be involved in the moving process. They vary in size, some of them are only inches in diameter, while others have grown to be larger than adult humans. The largest ones weigh several tons. Of course, they aren't the only stones that grow. In fact, many rocks change in size over time due to erosion and accretion. It just typically takes thousands or millions of years for an obvious change in size. If you visit a Trovant one day, don't expect to see it grow before your eyes. It takes many years for a noticeable change in the size of these living stones. Number 2. Sorceress Kit Archaeologists have discovered a curious array of items in Pompeii recently, more than a hundred miniature objects in a wooden crate. Inside the box was a hoard that includes miniature dolls, amulets, beads, and a tiny skull among objects made of bone, bronze, glass, and amber. And because of its historic location, researchers think that the mysterious trove belonged to a sorcerer or witch who could have been a victim of the catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius more than 2,000 years ago. There are also bones from birds, likely used in rituals, as well as an evil eye protective pendant. Some pieces depict Egyptian-style beetles, a symbol used by Romans to protect women and children. It also contained a small head depicting the Greek god of wine, fertility, and ritual madness, as well as a dancing satire delicately carved into glass. These objects invoke fortune, fertility, and protection against bad luck. The researchers determined that these objects were likely used for adornment or protection in the years before Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, burying the city and its population in volcanic ash. But the sorcerer's kit survived. Number 1. Lamborghini of Chariots Researchers at Pompeii announced the uncovering of an intact ceremonial chariot from a villa near the famous Italian archaeological site. The announcement called the chariot an extraordinary find and has no parallel in Italy thus far. The ancient city of Pompeii has been the subject of fascination and archaeological digs for hundreds of years. It was buried in volcanic ash from Mount Vesuvius nearly 2,000 years ago, a disaster that preserved in incredible detail the buildings and ephemera of the city and even the shapes of the bodies of the Romans who once walked the city streets. According to authorities, the chariot survived the eruption in the intervening years because it was stored inside a portico. The eruption caused the walls and ceiling around it to collapse under the weight of volcanic ash. As you can see, the chariot is preserved in remarkable detail, officials say, with four iron wheels, metal armrests and backrests, and a seat perched atop that could sit one or two people. Notably, the chariot is adorned with metal medallions depicting satires, nymphs, and cupids, suggesting the possibility that it may have been used in marriage ceremonies. 
It's the Lamborghini of chariots. In fact, this ceremonial chariot is the first find of its kind to be discovered. When it comes to one in a million discoveries, it doesn't get much better than this. Shocking or not, so like and subscribe and be the first to see what other amazing discoveries are out there. More videos coming up.